فعاش القلب وإخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير سنن أبي داود أن سنن الترمذي They've made mention of a hadith of Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu where he says just after the battle of Badr there was a red garment that happened to disappear from the booty you know from what they had collected there was a red garment that happened to disappear so some of the people happened to throw comments listen carefully because it happens to this day something goes missing in your home my beloved sisters a piece of jewelry your earrings go missing your ring goes missing who is to blame let's be honest who's the first person you think about the maid i sorry i heard someone here say it <laughs> i didn't think of it i heard someone here say it. the maid there you are the innocent maid who's worked for you tirelessly for so long and you have misplaced it somewhere when you find it after two weeks guess what you end up saying tell me she put it back may allah forgive us may allah forgive us these are the statements people make we don't learn a lesson from the quran where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says some ignorant people happen to say perhaps muhammad peace be upon him took that red clothing for himself the red garment perhaps it was for himself astaghfirullah how dare people utter these words the prophet peace be upon him never took anything deceivingly he never cheated he was a Nabi of Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals verses. Verse number 161. It is not befitting for a messenger. It is not for a messenger. This Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take something deceivingly whilst cheating. He did not take anything. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah says, whoever takes something, usurps it, takes it whilst cheating or deceiving, it will be brought forth on the day of judgment and they will have to give full account of it. May Allah protect us from false accusation. Remember, if you don't know, remain silent. You might want to investigate. And if you don't come up with some solution, if you don't come up with a meaningful finding, perhaps your silence would drive you to paradise because that false accusation the probabilities of that being wrong are great and even if they are small the chances of us entering jahannam because we've accused an innocent person wallahi we wouldn't like to take that risk may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us let's stop accusing one another of doing things we've not done a lot of us have su dhan the minute something happens, the worst possible thought comes to our mind. As Muslimin, we are taught to have husnud dhan, which means the minute something happens, the best possible thought should come to your mind. Wallahi, that's a mu'min. Are you really a believer? My brothers and sisters, do you really believe? If you do, have a good thought when something happens. Yes, whilst you're investigating, the probabilities are wide open. You may want to investigate a load of people, but you will not claim that anyone is guilty until they are proven so. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us learn this beautiful lesson.